My name is Chrissy O'Malley and this is Better Science Teaching. What I'd like to do today is tell you about some of my favorite teacher bags. When I first started teaching, I had just finished a PhD program and then in order to get licensure, I had to do a teacher licensure program. Check out my blog if you want to see more about that story. Um, but the first year that I had a high school teaching job, I decided I wanted to have a cool teacher bag and I didn't want to use a backpack anymore. And I thought it looked really cute. It was a little brown synthetic leather tote. It was by a name that I thought was reputable. And I, <laughs> when I left school, on well, the very first day, uh, I was walking through the parking lot and about three steps from my car, the strap on this bag broke and everything that I was carrying dumped on the ground. And it was extremely embarrassing. And out of that, I was just like, you know, I'm gonna come up with, I need a, a better, more functional bag. And uh, so that's what I started looking. And so I'm gonna show you a little bit about what I carry and what kind of bags I start with. And I have a whole range of prices. So if you're looking for a good first teacher bag, um, you'll be able to find one no matter what your price point is. So the things that I carry on a normal day, I have a lunch box. This is a, um, this is a fuel cell from B. It's the old Unikiki 1.0 print. I love it in case you're wondering. The bird, Rondine, is my favorite character in any Toki print. Um, I've also got a little clutch that I have all of my personal stuff in. And so I'll just show you because it was in another video. Um, but one of the things right now, I've got like my wallet in here and some pencils and little notebooks and stuff. But I also have my, my Moleskine personal planner and it fits in there. So that's a very convenient thing to have. And this, uh, right now it's set up for summer, so it's got some weird stuff in it. Like it's got a little sunscreen in it. Um, but this is, this is equivalent to what I'd carry every day with just my regular stuff in case I needed some personal things. So I don't have a full extra bag for that. I just have something that I stick in my teacher bag. I also will have with me my teacher planner. And um, what I started doing last year is rather than bringing my computer back and forth from school and home, I thought that was putting a lot of wear and tear on it. So I started to just bring the files home that I wanted. There are other teachers in our building that use Google Drive or Dropbox or other things for that. I just put on a thumb drive um, so that I have everything with me. So these are the things I'm gonna to use to test pack everything and make sure it fits. Obviously, um, there are times where I'll have tests I'm gonna grade or an assignment that I need to look at and those will come home with me too. Um, but I think that you'll find that all these have extra space in them. So the first place that I started was I had a debate between different kinds of totes because I knew that since my first bag had broken, I needed something that was sturdy. So I was looking at Ella Bean and Land's End. And um, there's some interesting things about these when you compare these bags and they don't really, I couldn't find a comparison video on YouTube. So here you go. Um, so this is a boat and tote, medium size with a zip top and long handles. Um, one thing that's really cool about these, you can actually get these customized in a bunch of different ways. You can get custom colors. You can have a monogram put on here. You can take it someplace and get it monogrammed. They're just, they're super handy and they're very durable. The reason that I chose this for my first bag, it met my criteria for strength because I was very concerned, especially my first year teaching, that I was carrying textbooks around a lot because I was still sort of developing curriculum. They kind of gave me a framework to use, but not, not daily planning or anything. Um, but what's great about these is that the strap is sewn on in a single piece. So they sew it all the way across the top and then they go under the bag. And so you can't see it here because the bottom is put on after this, but this strap actually goes across the bottom and then they sew the other side on and, and underneath. So when you're carrying this bag, the straps go all the way underneath. So there's no way that the straps can break unless they get cut or frayed and they're going to be supporting the bottom of the bag. So you're not you're not, you don't have a single attachment point of the bag to the strap where it can break. It's sewn all the way through here. So this is an extremely durable bag. It's just a big pit in there. The zip part can pop up so you can use it, you know, if it's, if you want extra security or if it's rainy outside and you can zip it closed and then, um, you know, it works, it works good. Um, as far as fitting all your stuff in there, uh, you can fold the sides down. This is a giant computer. This is probably an 18 inch. It doesn't fit sideways, unless there's hardly anything else in this bag. It looks like it's gonna do it this time. Um, it's not great. 
usually when I have, um, when I use one of these medium sized bags, I put my computer straight up like this, take my um, big happy planner, put that in there, got my clutch and my lunch box. I can get everything in there. No problem. There we go. Go to school, one bag. All right, so let's say you don't want L.O. Bean for whatever reason. L.O. Bean's great. Made in America. I'm taking my stuff out. So here's my L.O. Bean bag. Um, but maybe you want to try something different. I'll tell you what, if you like this idea, but you want to try a little bit different style, um, Land's End has a similar bag. So this is a Land's End bag. Um, there's strap, the drop on the strap is a little bit shorter but I can still, I can still get this over my arm without a problem. Um, <clears throat> this one, I don't know, I thought it was cute. It had pineapples on it. What was really cool about the Land's Ant, Land's End, sorry. I thought this was really cute. Everything's sliding everywhere. Blooper reel, okay. So um, I thought this was really cute because it had pineapples on it. I think I, I had elected not to put a monogram on this um, because I was concerned that the, that the placement of the embroidered pineapples was going to be weird with the monogram. I believe the monogram goes right here. And I think they may have actually accommodated space for that when they made these. But the, uh, the biggest differences between Land's End and L.O. Bean, two things. One, the straps on the Land's End, the straps on the Land's End bag do not go along the bottom. They stop, they stop just under where the base gets sewn. So they stop here. I don't think that's a big deal as far as weight capacity is concerned. I have a lot of friends that have Ella Bean bags and have Land's End bags. They're all fine. Um, mostly they kind of fail when they get too dirty. <laughs> so I've never heard of somebody having one break or tear or get a hole punched in it. It's something, it's, it's usually just that the bottom just gets worn out over a decade, it takes forever. The other major difference is, is that these Land's End bags have tons of pockets. Got a pineapple in the pocket for some reason. So there's a pocket on the front, and then there's a, a strip of fabric that goes across the inside that's just got a whole bunch of different pockets. So on this side, there's one large pocket that goes across the whole back. If you had a reasonable size computer, you'd be able to get it in there. It's also got, several pockets, sorry, along the other side up here. You'll notice though that with the pockets, you don't get the zip top. I really like the zip top. Um, Land's End also has this key fob, which is kind of handy. So if I load this up with all my stuff again, grab my computer, happy planner, clutch bag, get all in there, lunch box, Everything fits, no sweat. Okay, so that's our L.L. Bean bag, Land's End bag. Um, I also at one point realized that every once in a while I needed a bag that could carry more stuff. If you have something significant going on that day, you just carry more, maybe you just carry more stuff um, and you need a bigger bag. What you can do is get a larger size. So these are boat and tote bags, they're canvas. They come in lots of sizes. I actually bought one from L.L. Bean. That's the large size, long handles, zip top. It's the same construction as a medium bag. It's just huge. So you guys can probably tell sitting in there. I can take my computer and put it in there sideways without an issue. Um, put all this stuff in here. and I still have an enormous amount of space left over where I can put stacks of papers or anything else I need in there. Um, I'm a science teacher, so I end up carrying things like everything that's required to make ice cream for a hundred people it happens. Okay, so I'm gonna run pretty out. soon. So these are my, my canvas boat and totes. I've got a large long handled zip top. I've got a medium Land's End bag um, that's all the pockets and the nice stuff. And then a medium sized long handled boat and tote from L.L. Bean. These are all great. This guy, I just looked it up. This is a $40 bag. 
So that's very affordable. These are about the same. This is about 10 bucks more. If you're gonna add any personalization, of course it'll look so extra. But those are great bags to start. If you just need a teacher bag for student teaching or your first job, you know, I, out of the box, the agreement I have with my husband was that my job wasn't gonna cost more than I was earning. So I needed an inexpensive bag, especially when the first one flopped. Now, if the canvas thing isn't your style, and honestly, I don't use those all the time. I use them when the weather gets nasty and um, when I need to carry a lot of things. Cause I, I have these in at least three colors. I have red, I have a pink color called Orchid that was a limited edition and a purple. But sometimes you might wanna have a dressier bag. You know, maybe that day something important's happening. Maybe you're getting your first teacher bag while you're doing your interviews and you want interview bag. Um, so I have some recommendations for that too. This is a Coach Market Tote. Um, this one I got at a retail location during their summer sale, which has started already, but I got it a little bit later in the sale. So I got it for 70% off. I paid $100 for this. Um, this retails for about $300, but I got it for $100. Uh, it's got a nice little clasp on here that can hold things closed. You can open that up. It's just a big gapey bag. It's got this thing on the back. It's it's attached with rivets. And so you might think that they're snaps and that it comes off, but don't do that because they're not snaps. They're, they're riveted permanently on there. So there's a little bag here if you want to put some private stuff in there. Um, sometimes I would put my phone or my wallet in there, but I've got my giant computer. It will fit in there sideways. There we go. My happy planner, my little bag. These little straps are flopping around because I've had this stored for a while since we haven't been to school. Um, so with the computer in there sideways, it's a little bit snug, but I can kind of, I can get stuff in there. Um, if I turn the, I'll have trouble with this little strap if I turn this upward, but it'll make it a little bit easier to get my lunchbox down in there. <clears throat> and that can't go over, but when I do that, I just tuck it in the back. Or you can tuck it between the pouch and the edge, and that'll kind of keep it safe. And then you can have a, a, a nicer looking bag. Of course, if I take the computer out, because remember I told you guys I don't, I don't like to do that. If I take the computer out, I can then close it up. There we go. Market tote, pretty cute. Um, and I've carried this for a couple of months last year. I just got it last summer. Um, but um, it's in really good shape, even though it doesn't have any feet or anything. So that's gonna be sort of something to look out for if you're looking for something that's budget friendly. I'm very, I'm very happy with this one. All right, um, so there's Market Tote. This is a Dooney City Flynn. And so with Dooney and Burke, they, um, they have styles and then they put sort of the name of the leather with the name of the bag. So this is a Dooney and Burke bag. That's the name of the company. Um, City is the kind of leather that it is. So you can get pebbled leather, you can get suede, you can get all kinds of embossed stuff. There's all sorts of different things. Um, and then this is the style Flynn, which is this two handled one and it's a tote style, but it's got these magnetic closures. Watch this, it pulls all the way open. It's huge on the inside. Oh, I've got stuff in here. Okay, so this guy, I would not carry my computer on this. Um, it's a little bit too small for that. This is, whew, this is a regular size Flynn. I don't think they call it a large. There is a small, a small Flynn, or sometimes you might find like the small Brenna or something, but um, there are some different sizes, but this is just a regular size. Some nice things about it. The attachments are all rivets. That first bag, well, there's rivets and sewing. The first bag that I bought was stitched. It wasn't as sturdy as this one. This one hasn't had any problems. It doesn't look like it's aged today. It's even good. So I've had this for a couple of years now. I believe that I paid about $180 for it on ilovedooney.com, which is sort of a clearance site of the Dooney and Burke site, but everything's a little bit cheaper there. Um, it is the desert color of the City Flynn bag. It's a large tote. I would not carry my computer in this. It's not quite big enough, um, but there is enough space in here to do lunchbox test. I can take my, my notebook 
And there's lots of space in here. If you're a person who likes to carry papers and books, you're not gonna have a problem. My tote bag in here. This guy. This bag also is another one with a key strap. So those are handy. My lunchbox in there. And that's about all that's gonna hold. Um, sometimes in the sides over here, I'll put like my pencil case and that's usually where I have my USB drives and things. So I can keep those straight. But this is another one that looks really cute. If you want something that's a little bit more attractive than a, than a canvas tote, but that's gonna get the job done and carry things around for you. I'm at a point now where I'm pretty happy with the bags that I have. I've considered getting another one of those if I find one in a different color. Um, but for me, my collection's pretty well rounded out. If you have any questions or you'd like to see anything else, um, please let me know below. I also could do a whole round of Tom Bin bags and traveling and using those with students too. So I do a lot of um, things like Science Olympiad and, and uh, supervising students for a day um, away from school. So I hope that you enjoyed my video and that helps you find a great teacher bag. I hope that you're having a great summer and um, getting ready to warm up for next school year for whatever that brings for us. I hope that you have a great day. You stay safe and you be well. And kids make good choices. I'll see you soon. Bye.